So, this is my I'm laughing at myself smile. Um, I'm here to talk about Fremont Brewing Winter Ale. It's an Imperial Winter Ale, which means it's a minimum 8% ABV. And this is right at 8% ABV. I'm laughing at myself because uh, I've already done this whole spiel. I just had my camera in photo mode. Yeah. Um, anyways, so you're not going to get the, you know, the, the Instagram food shots of me cracking the beer open and pouring it here. There's still some more left in the can. I'll pour some just to keep you happy. Um, I'm trying not to, you know, sound like I've rehearsed this because, well, it doesn't nearly come out, doesn't come out nearly so well the second time around. Anyways, I'm um, drinking this beer. So it's Imperial. So it's a stiff, um, or as I say, it's turned up to 11 uh, beer. You definitely smell, smell the, um, the, the booziness in the, in the nose. Not so much as other Imperials. You know, you'll have Imperials that are 9, 10, 11% even. And those it gets more, more distinct. But this has enough strong flavors that it's kind of more of a, a subtle booziness. Um, you smell the... Um, I would say that the nose really agrees with or matches the, the flavor. So what you smell is what you get. Um, you smell molasses. You smell some pininess. Um, maybe a bit of fruitiness, like a stone fruit, stone fruit, plums, prune, or plum, not dry, uh, plums, peaches, maybe apricots, um, mostly towards the darker side, so plums and such. And in drinking it, you get this really fruity, almost a juicy fruit, um, fruitiness, uh, most of the way through your mouth. That comes, it's really clean, it's nice, it, do, it doesn't taste artificial at all, it's really really sweet and bright, um, really pleasant. And then undergirding it all like a foundation is this, this molasses and burnt sugar and like dark chocolate um, foundation. And that's what you're left with at the end, maybe a little bit of bread at the end. Um, and so it's, it's really tasty, quite good. Um, not spicy like you would expect with... Uh, with a winter ale. Typically, a winter ale is an ale with added spices. Um, this probably has added spices. I haven't looked it up to see what it's made with, what, you know, Fremont claims they're, they're brewing it with, but um, I'm not tasting like the clove or the cardamom or the cinnamon or the nutmeg or any of those winter spices. Um, so it's probably not marketed as a, as a, as a Christmas ale because of that. They're, they're not harping on the spicy content, but it should still be a spice beer, but I'm not tasting the spice. What I'm tasting is a very nice, bright juiciness that fades very quickly and leaves you with this really nice lingering chocolate and molasses and, and burnt sugar. So this has been the second time I'm saying, <laughs> this is Fremont Winter Ale, Imperial Ale. I picked it up at Costco the other day, a four pack um, by Fremont Brewing out of Seattle, Washington. And I will catch y'all later.